Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see about enumerated data type in System Umbrella. An enumerated type defines a set of named values. The simplest enumerated type declaration it contains a list of constant names and one or more variables. An enumerated variable allows specifies a legal set of values for a variable and specifies labels for each legal value. Let's see an example. Here we have a uh, enum, its variable called animals, and what is this dog, cat, cheetah, lion? They are called the set of values within an enumerated list, and each legal set of value has a label for each values. So here the dog has a value called uh, label called zero, then the cat has one, then then the cheetah has two. So subsequent labels are incremented from the values of the previous label. And the default base type of enumerated type is int, and the default value of first label is zero within the enumerated list. And optionally, the base variable type and label values can be specified. Like uh, we have the enum logic two is to zero dog cat equal to and uh, three tick binary zero zero one. Here we have specified the label value, and here we have specified the variable type as logic. That is how we can. Specify as per our requirement, and we have built-in methods in enumerated enumeration. Um, the first one is dot first. The first returns the value of the first member in enumerated list. Then we have the last, which returns the value of the last member, and we have next, which returns the value of the next member, and pre it returns the value of the previous number. Then num returns the number of elements and name returns the string representation of the label for the current value. Let's see a demonstration how this works. Okay, guys, here is the example for the enumeration methods, built-in methods. So I have the module called enum data type and the enum declaration as enum. Then we have the enumerated variable called colors. So the set of values are red, green, blue, yellow, white, and black. And for our purpose of understanding, I have given two tables for the red as zero and for the white as seven. So starting with the first method, colors uh, dot first. So dot first is the first method, right? So dot first. Uh, I have given dollar display of uh, giving the colors the value of giving the colors dot name to make the string representation of what actual value has been comes uh, under this execution. So the value of the colors dot name, which means the first one I have given. So the first one here is red. So the value of red equal to what is its value? Uh, I am printing it in a decimal format. Uh, let's see the output. Uh, here you can see the colors. The colors. The value of first name. The first one is red. So the value of red and its value is zero. So it is printed in the correct manner. Let's uncommand the next one. That is the dot last command. When running, uh, the last one it will be the black. Let's check it out. See, uh, here we have the colors. The value of the color name is the last. So here in the within the set of value, the last one is black. So the value of black has been came, and the black's value will be eight. Why its value is eight in the sense? The previous value's label is seven here. So the subsequent one, that is the black, it will acquire the uh, label as eight, which means seven plus one eight. That is how the incrementation happens uh, with the labels. So moving to the next one, colors dot next. So uh, before running, um, after the first one, uh, we have the last. So the last one is black. So after the black, if we are putting the next command here, so what it will actually print in the sense that after the black, it will move again to the first legal value. So if I am putting next here, so after black, it will comes the Red value. Let's check it out.
see here the colors the value of red has been uh, come here and the value of the red is 0 it has been printed this is how the next method has been is it is working now the previous one we have printed so the colors the value of the previous one which means here I have printed the first one so the first is red so the first is red then I have put the code for colors dot last so here the last is black black has been printed after the black I have again starting the loop from next so the next it will get executed from the red now if I am putting previous so it will print the previous member of the enumerated list so before red it will move back to the uh, set of list in the enumerated list so here the previous one is black this is like a loop of chain like from 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 in the sense so after the 6 if I am putting the next it will move uh, comes again to the first one which is, which is 0 if I am putting previous one it will move to the sixth one that is the black so we have another method uh, uh, other than this first, last, next, previous and next um, so that is dot now let's check how this num method actually works so before moving to the output uh, actually this num it will represent the number of elements so here the number of elements is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so let's check the output now so here is the count the overall number of elements in animation is 6 I think you guys got the clear idea of how this built in methods in enumerated data types works and uh, let's see about the methods and one more thing Please do follow these routines and that's it. Thank you for listening. See you in the next video.